Title Three: Crimes Against Public Order. Chapter One: Rebellion, Sedition, and Disloyalty. Article 134: Rebellion or Insurrection, How Committed. The crime of rebellion or insurrection is committed by rising publicly and taking arms against the government for the purpose of removing from the allegiance to said government or its laws, the territory of the Philippine Islands or any part thereof, of any body of land, naval or other armed forces, depriving the chief executive or the legislature, wholly or partially, of any of their powers or prerogatives. Article 134a. Coup d'état, how committed. The crime of coup d'état is a swift attack accompanied by violence, intimidation, threat, strategy or stealth, directed against duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines, or any military camp or installation, communications network, public utilities or other facilities needed for the exercise and continued possession of power, singly or simultaneously carried out anywhere in the Philippines by any person or persons belonging to the military or police or holding any public office of employment with or without civilian support or participation for the purpose of seizing or diminishing state power. Article 135. Penalty for Rebellion, Insurrection or Coup d'état. Any person who promotes, maintains, or heads rebellion or insurrection shall suffer the penalty of reclusion perpetua. Any person merely participating or executing the commands of others in a rebellion shall suffer the penalty of reclusion temporal. Any person who leads or in any manner directs or commands others to undertake a coup d'état shall suffer the penalty of reclusion perpetua. Any person in the government service who participates, or executes directions or commands of others in undertaking a coup d'état shall suffer the penalty of prison mayor in its maximum period. Any person not in the government service who participates, or in any manner supports, finances, abets or aids in undertaking a coup d'état shall suffer the penalty of reclusion temporal in its maximum period. When the rebellion, insurrection, or coup d'état shall be under the command of unknown leaders, any person who in fact directed the others, spoke for them, signed receipts and other documents issued in their name, as performed similar acts, on behalf or the rebels shall be deemed a leader of such a rebellion, insurrection, or coup d'état. Article 136. Conspiracy and Proposal to Commit Coup d'état, Rebellion or Insurrection. The conspiracy and proposal to commit coup d'état shall be punished by prison mayor in minimum period and a fine which shall not exceed 8,000 pesos. The conspiracy and proposal to commit rebellion or insurrection shall be punished respectively by prison currential in its maximum period and a fine which shall not exceed 5,000 pesos and by prison currential in its medium period and a fine not exceeding 2,000 pesos. Article 137. Disloyalty of Public Officers or Employees. The penalty of prison currential in its minimum period shall be imposed upon public officers or employees who have failed to resist a rebellion by all the means in their power or shall continue to discharge the duties of their offices under the control of the rebels or shall accept appointment to office under them. Article 138. Inciting a rebellion or insurrection. The penalty of prison mayor in its minimum period shall be imposed upon any person who, without taking arms or being in open hostility against the government, shall incite others to the execution of any of the acts specified in Article 134 of this Code by means of speeches, proclamations, writings, emblems, banners or other representations tending to the same end. Article 139. Sedition, How Committed. The crime of sedition is committed by persons who rise publicly and tumultuously in order to attain by force, intimidation, or by other means outside of legal methods, any of the following objects. 1 to prevent the promulgation or execution of any law or the holding of any popular election. 2. To prevent the national government, or any provincial or municipal government or any public officer thereof from freely exercising its or his functions, or prevent the execution of any administrative order. 3. To inflict any act of hate or revenge upon the person or property of any public officer or employee. 4. To commit for any political or social end, any act of hate or revenge against private persons or any social class, and 
5. To despoil, for any political or social end, any person, municipality or province, or the national government, or the government of the United States, of all its property or any part thereof. Article 140. Penalty for Sedition. The leader of a sedition shall suffer the penalty of prison mayor in its minimum period and a fine not exceeding 10,000 pesos. Other persons participating therein shall suffer the penalty of prison currishinal in its maximum period and a fine not exceeding 5,000 pesos. Article 141. Conspiracy to Commit Sedition. Persons conspiring to commit the crime of sedition shall be punished by prison currishinal in its medium period and a fine not exceeding 2,000 pesos. Article 142. Inciting to Sedition. The penalty of prison currishinal in its maximum period and a fine not exceeding 2,000 pesos shall be imposed upon any person who, without taking any direct part in the crime of sedition, should incite others to the accomplishment of any of the acts which constitute sedition, by means of speeches, proclamations, writings, emblems, cartoons, banners, or other representations tending to the same end, or upon any person or persons who shall utter seditious words or speeches, write, publish, or circulate scurrilous libels against the government of the United States or the government of the Commonwealth of the Philippines, or any of the duly constituted authorities thereof or which tend to disturb or obstruct any lawful officer in executing the functions of his office, or which tend to instigate others to cabal and meet together for unlawful purposes, or which suggest or incite rebellious conspiracies or riots, or which lead or tend to stir up the people against the lawful authorities or to disturb the peace of the community, the safety and order of the government, or who shall knowingly conceal such evil practices, 